What? Dang! What the heck was that? This is not good. This looks like a recipe for tree breaking right here. Look at that. Can we even see that? It's insane. Holy crap, guys. It got <laughs> real fast. I'm sitting there rushing to get my stampede ready for the snow, and it came down even more, which makes it even more awesome. Oh, we're about to go ripping. All right, I just got done trying to get my truck defrosted. Now the situation is the remote to run the uh, stampede is actually in there, and uh, the tailgate won't come down. It's frozen shut. So we're going to drive around, see if that loosens it up a little bit. Dang it. All right, guys, that was a major freaking fail. So I had the GoPro on there. I think, it, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I just, I went down guys and I uh, came right back up, but I had the GoPro on there and uh, it was doing, oh my God, Evan. It was doing just fine. And then I guess the sticky part, it's so cold. I guess the sticky part is not sticky anymore. No, you're gonna blow the diffs up. And uh, the GoPro went flying down the street. And when I went to go pick up the GoPro, there was, uh, it was already off. It's this cold weather. GoPros don't like cold weather. Like it was fully charged and then I only ran for like two minutes and it was fully dead. So hopefully I got some footage. If I did, y'all will see it. Um, if not, yeah, we're having fun out here. We're just seeing if we can rip down the, the street full blast. Have you ever, oh my God, look at that beast. If you ever um, decide you want to go drive your car outside in the snow, all I recommend is that you plug the holes, put a little bit of electrical tape or tape over the vent holes in your wheels. That way no snow or water gets in your tires. And then just blow it off. Make sure you dust it off really good before you store it. And then you should be good. So this is the same car that I drove on the beach. So it's kind of ready for, uh, it already had the vent holes plugged up. Dang, Ev, do a, do a stunt for us. Go full throttle and then do a 360 and keep going full throttle. Ready? Oh yeah, that's a good one, right? That's right into the... Uh, that's a good trick, right, Dad? You might need to come down the... You gotta go up that way and come down the street. All right, go, F. Oh, he's gonna hit a mailbox. Oh, that was sad. That was kind of sad. That was really sad. Yeah, that was weak sauce, bud. What is up guys? My name is Mark Sanamaria. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to RC Vlog. I know that was a really, really, really long intro. At least for me, whenever I see snow or ice outside, I start to panic a little bit because I want to get my RC cars out there. So we just started shooting some stuff. So sorry about that. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we are going to go out there more 
but snow is interesting. Snow is cool for about 15 minutes and then it's like, okay, let's go inside now. So nice and warm in here, but today's mail day. We're going to open some stuff up. Before we start opening up boxes, I did want to read this card. I got this card not that long ago and I, I, I was so excited about it. I actually didn't even wait for, for the video to read this one. I, I just had to open it. So this is from a friend, Donnie. And Donnie pits with us at some of the big races, him and his dad. It's a great father-son duo. They go to races. Uh, Donnie's a younger kid, running sportsman, but just like Evan, I'm sure it's going to click one day. Uh, but he just wanted to thank me for letting us, letting him and his dad pit with him, at, or pit with us at SICK, uh, because it was a great view where we were at. And he wanted to thank me for all the food that we, we provided. So big shout out to Donnie. I'm super excited to see how he does, but check this out. He drew my truggy oh man that's freaking awesome you can put my paint scheme on there but big shout out to donnie donnie and stewart you guys are freaking awesome and you were always welcome to pit for us at big races so you know you know the drill shoot me a message and we'll get you in there all right let's open up packages we're gonna open up these big ones first i already know what's in these big ones obviously i actually ordered this stuff but there are some new things in these big ones that you gotta see as soon as i show you the first product you're gonna know where it's from too dark all right here we go oh this is actually the one that i wanted so bam we got the new pro line truggy convicts i know what you're thinking oh it's just tires this is a big deal though it's been a while since pro line released a brand new truggy tire i think the last one was the buckshot and for truggy tires my only options were buckshots or hole shots which I like whole shots better, but they wear a little bit fast. These are the new Convict tire pattern. You can kind of see it. I'll put a link in the description below, but these just released, and I think this is gonna be the new Truggy tire standard. I think I'm gonna run it everywhere. So I got a whole bunch of sets of these. M3, I think M3 is the best universal compound. So big old box of the uh, M3 Convicts for truck. Let's see what's in this one. All right, what's in this one? It just has all the wheels. So I've ordered a whole bunch of wheels, obviously for my truggy tires. And then M3 hole shots. So the reason why I ordered a whole bunch of M3 hole shots because the next upcoming races, I think the M3 hole shot is gonna be the tire to run. Uh, they're in arenas where it's kind of low me. And on all these races, I usually always go back to hole shots for some reason. Um, so to me, the best universal all around tire to run at these huge races are M3 hole shots. The only time you wanna maybe transition off of this is if it starts to groove up and there becomes a lot of traction, you might want to go to a slide lock. But if it's loamy, and usually the way this arena dirt is, it's a little bit soft and soft and loamy. So M3 hole shots are freaking awesome. So I ordered a whole bunch of these with for the upcoming races, PNB, Silver State. Yeah, we're gonna need these, especially since Evan's doing a lot of racing too. Alright, that's those are the big boxes. We're gonna put the big boxes up and then we're gonna do the overhead cam so you guys can see what's in these small boxes. Alright. We got some packages here. These are a little bit smaller, so now we can do the overhead cam. Some of these things are things I already have, but I needed more, and you'll see what it is in a second. And then we do have some new products in here, which I'm super excited about, and you'll see why. And here we have, boom! I already have these. These are the hex drivers. I got another set because, yeah, Evan, I uh, probably need his own set. He's gonna start building his own car. So, you know, you can never go with too many tools. So we got more tools. This box right here, this one's got a whole bunch of cool stuff in it, but there's something in particular that I'm really excited about. What's going on? Where is the middle here? Oh, that's why, because it's one of these weird boxes. Welcome to watching Mark open a box. Okay, here we go. Okay, got a whole bunch of stuff in here. A lot of the stuff you don't care about uh, because they're screws. So basically, I try to carry as many spare screws as I can. Typically, I order all my screws off of Techno because those are all sizes I need. Uh, this time, I ordered some off of Protec. Let's see, let's see how they are. I'm assuming they're going to be the same. And then I ordered some replacement tips, but that's not what we care about. Oh, look, we got a, a temp gun. We got a saw that in there. This is what we're excited about. Boom. The new Protec LiPo. So Protec just released a new line of LiPo batteries. And these are going to be for my short course. So short course is kind of blown up my area. A lot of more, a lot more people are running short course. And 
I need new batteries. So before I was actually running the Traxxas 7600 batteries in my short course. And the, the problem isn't with the battery. The problem is with the connector. Um, because Traxxas has that proprietary connector, I didn't feel good about switching out the connector. But I feel like the Traxxas connector might not be able to pull the amount of amps or volts or power out of them. I've had a couple of connectors go bad. Maybe they were just old connectors. But I want to run the same connectors I do with my e-buggy, which these are going to be able to run the same connectors. These are 5 millimeter bullets, and I'm going to run XT90s on it. So the reason why this battery is awesome is not only because it's new, but this is the 9600 milliamp battery. So you might be asking, why would you ever need a 9600 milliamp battery in short course? It's because some of the short course places you go to, or some of the tracks that race short course, actually run 10 minute mains. And I think you need at least 7,000 to run 10 minutes. That's assuming you don't do like a practice lap or anything. 9,600 should be plenty of power to run 10 minutes. So I'm super excited about these batteries. I'm probably going to try out their four cell batteries too. But the new ProTech line of batteries, super cool. I'll put a link in the description below for them. This is like the mother of all short course batteries. Oh man, I'm so excited. Okay, moving on. That was the big main thing I had in here. There was something else in here I want to show you guys. Oh, those are charging leads. This guy right here. I need this. I thought I needed this for my nitro truggy. This, this switch is awesome because it has built-in lipo cutoff. And it's just cool. I mean, it looks freaking cool. I end up putting another switch in my e-truggy. My, not my e-truggy. My nitro truggy because it looked really, really cool. But I regret doing it, and I'll show you why whenever I do the reveal on my Nitro Truggy. That's coming really soon, so make sure you turn on the notification bell and subscribe to my channel. Because my Nitro Buggy reveal, Nitro Truggy reveal, is coming super soon. But I'm going to continue to run these switches instead, because you'll see why whenever I show you my Nitro Truggy. Other than that, nothing else really in here. So that's pretty much it. That's mail day. This all screws, uh, charge connectors. New ProTech LiPos. Oh man, I'm so excited to kick some butt in short course. Yes, I, Evan will probably run short course too because he's been wanting to build one. So it'll be fun for to, for us to both run e-bike short course. That'd be awesome. Well, that's a wrap, guys. If you guys follow On The Tone, On The Tone is my RC racing podcast. Go find us on Facebook. I'll put a link in the description. I'm going live tonight. If you want to hang out live, I'm going live tonight on On The Tone. It's, I'm hanging out with my old RC buddies. It's going to be freaking awesome. We basically have not done it on the tone for almost two years. So we're coming back. It's going to be really cool. It was really cool when it happened. So go check it out. Link in the description below. Well, I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys.